Now, we are going to cover the topic where it says stages of the design process. Now, why is it important to know what are the different stages? Because every company that you work for, you know, whoever gets a project and you want to uh, make the project and give it to the customer, you have to follow a bunch of these steps to get it done. It's not like you just take the project and get it done in one day, right? So it's a process that we need to go through. And the company could be an engineering firm, an architecture firm, a mechanical engineering firm, a civil construction, name it. And it has to follow the whole design process. So the first step is problem identification. When the customer comes in and he tells you what he wants to get done okay it's basically like a problem he wants to solve a problem to make his product right that's why he's coming to you so first thing first importantly you have to understand what the problem is you know it's not like he wants uh, you to design him a, a, a SUV and you end up designing him a, a sedan right not like he wants to design uh, a chair and you design him a couch right so you have to identify the problem you have to identify the needs the wants and the objectives of the problem right the needs of what the client is asking for what he wants you to do for him that's why he's there right so we have to finalize those first and understand the problem the next step of that, once you get the project, is going to be ideation. Now, in ideation, as the name says, it's the idea, right? You have to take the idea of the client and try to put it on paper just to show it to him to ask if this is what he really wanted. So to do that, you would need to start some sketching. You would draw some, some really some really rough sketch as how he wants his bed to look like how he wants his his chair to look like right so you make a few different options for him and that's when he realizes or that's when he likes your design and that's when he goes forward with the project so sketches and concepts are extremely important and that is done mostly by hand so that's why it's important to learn hand sketching or hand drawing okay because I know computer does a good job but when we are in the ideation phase every company all over the world pretty much uses hand sketches for designing their concepts now once that is done we go through the next process which is the design process we select one of one or two of our concepts that the client liked and we do refinement we refine our design right we make it a little bit more clear we make it a little bit more accurate more detail see that's all you see over here you would make 2d sketches you would make 3d sketches you would make some CAD models using AutoCAD and different programs okay and uh, once the client knows that you are on the right step or the team knows that you are on the right step because the team is working onto this project then they go on to the next stage which is implementation and documentation now what happens in the implementation and documentation phase in implementations these drawings that we did in the refinement phase in the analysis phase they are uh, broken down into more and more detailed drawings now these detailed drawings are called what are called working drawings are called assembly drawings where uh, you would show how the product assembles how the product looks like how the product can be constructed with all these you don't have any detail 
drawings or working drawings so it cannot be manufactured or constructed so for that to happen you have to make sure you go into the implementation and documentation phase where you're doing all these working drawings and assembly drawings which has each and every minute detail with dimensions the height the text how you want it the materials so there's a lot that goes into it okay and once that is done then we go into the finalized where it's finalized by the client finalized by the team and then it's finally approved and ready to go for construction for manufacturing for uh, design for for anything and everything that needs to be done right so that was all the different stages that you would go through in the design process a few more terms that I wanted to share with you guys was what does CAD stand for and we already know what AutoCAD is right but CAD which is basically this class uh, introduction to drafting and design or you could even call it introduction to uh, you know uh, designing but this is more of a hand one and uh, the other one was more of an AutoCAD one right so this is more of hand drawing the other one was more of uh, computer drawing so computer uh, the designs that are done on the computer with the use or the help of computer are called as CAD which is computer aided design that helps us draw the house using AutoCAD that helps us draw a 3d of the house using 3d max that helps us draw a machine part using CAD or a machine part using a 3d program uh, for manufacturing which is inventor so all that fall into the CAD category now the next one is CAM so usually they say CAD CAM right you might have heard about that before CAD CAM is mostly used for uh, computer aided manufacturing that's what it stands for so when parts are designed or manufactured like your lamp or your table or or your car now these are done with machines that are you know with the back end of the computer right you tell the command for to the machine to to cut this part out and the machine would do that okay so this is where the machine is manufacturing something using the aid of a computer program and a computer software okay and the last one we have is CAE which is computer aided engineering again uh, to make engineering uh, drawings like for example if I wanted to calculate uh, the wind pressure on a building or I want to calculate the load of the building so if the beams and columns could take it I would be going into more computer aided engineering if I want to calculate the wind resistance on uh, onto the wing of the plane again I would be going into a software that takes care of that with respect to you know with respect to the design and then I can design accordingly now all these systems will allow you to generate a model okay to generate a model that would withstand the wind a model that would withstand the weight a model that it designed with respect to the standards all that stuff would be drawn using uh, these programs and finally you would make a model called as rapid prototype now this is a 3d model that shows how the car looks in the final right how your toy looks when it's going to be made how your house is going to be made how your plane is going to look like so they always make a model previously they used to make a physical model which is which used to be a full scale right sometimes you would see in car commercials where they are making uh, a full scale 3d model of the car by carving it out by using different materials and stuff like that architects make small scales of their houses in an architecture house model or a community model or a building model 
So these are all rapid prototypes of what needs to be achieved from our design, right? So we even have different types of machines that you could export uh, AutoCAD or an Inventor or uh, a mechanical drawing or a 3D Max drawing into, into the plotter, into the machine and it would carve out the shape that you have on your computer okay and what it will give you out is called as what rapid prototypes all right so i'm done with chapter one i know chapter one was really lengthy the chapter uh, the rest of the chapters are not as long you know the only reason is because this is more of an introduction to the class that's why it's long but uh the other chapter would be uh would be smaller than this so you know, just stay tuned and I will be uploading the other ones too. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.